There's a quiet place in all the souls on earth, which I believe is always guiding us to fall into the comfort of the veil. Anger, <laughs> a lot of drinking, anger, a lot of stuff, uh, domestic violence when I was a kid, a lot of it was in my household. You see any of it? Oh yeah. Difficult to see. For sure. I remember watching my mom get knocked off a uh, our sliding glass door straight in the sliding glass door and that was that's something I still deal with today because I don't really understand it because my mom was something it's the biggest love I've ever known in my life so I can't really understand how somebody could do that so it's something I still I'm 40 years old and I still I think it's something that sat with me my entire life he was drunk and I was in the car and, and Cam then get or not, her Danielle was already at grandma so I guess I she was already being hidden I guess and to say to speak, and I was, I didn't get hidden yet or taken away from the situation yet. We were on, my, on the way to take me away from the situation and that was the first time it hit me is that we were pulling out of our driveway and he was pulling in and he just rammed the damn car. And then, um, yeah, we were pulling, then we, we turned around, went back and he, opened up the door, kicked her in the face, grabbed her up by the hair, told her to get in, and then she reached back and said, just stay here for a second. I set out to sift through the ashes of all the good things I burned down in my life. I wanted to search within my family to see if my trauma matched their trauma. What I unleashed was a brutal reality within us all. A lot of us tried to ride the brutality away on the one thing that made sense to us, our motorcycles. Through this process, I found the story that summed up all the 